during our entire match, entire our entire set. One mm -hmm. was a one was a uh, was a seismic toss that he hit on crit, and then the other was a grab that I just kind of dodged. I think. So there is no strat to this. I legit just forgot that. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. Can we record? Oh no, we're not recording yet. Cool. We are. Oh, we are. Yep. Why have we stopped already? Oh, well, stop it. Shut up. I'm looking at start streaming because I run OBS myself, and I only use it for streaming. Because recording, I don't feel like putting 13,000 gigabytes of stuff onto my computer. We're complete nerds. Okay. Losers, and we're not losers here. Yeah. We're super cool gamers. Well, recording is only going to be once everything goes to the start, so... Let me start. Like it. I gotta get my commentating chops back. I'm very tired, so they're non existent right now. Wow. Uh, blue dog and sword. Okay. <laughs> blue sword and blue dog. Mm -hmm. So, Haru, how's it going to Kario? Yeah, I know he's been working on it. So. I'm, inter I'm, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Kario's a good character. He's very, very. He's just strong in all, uh, in all cases. He's, like, he's a character you can kind of like do. Because he has a lot of tools to do a lot of different things. Him and Pikachu, are, him and Pikachu are just the two characters that just, just beginner friendly. All right, so we're going into shield stance. Go with the laser, double laser hits that into the bigger laser. How do you feel about those lasers, Dale? They sure do laser. <laughs> they sure do be lasering. Into the combo. Loop time into the e speed. <laughs> into the e speed for good combo. Ooh, barely takes him out. I like his patience here in blue phase. You can tell he's a uh, in blue phase. You can tell he's a Machamp player realizing he has projectiles. And it's, yeah, it's just a mind <laughs> when a Machamp player realizes they're playing a character with projectiles, mm -hmm. everything goes downhill from there. <laughs> I don't blame him. I do like he basically beat out every chance that Aegislash Slash had to go into shield stats there during that last field. Yeah, phase. it was really good. It was real good. Just yep. catching paper sack, just wanted to get into shield and get those. Yeah, that awesome. up and then he just got to play it in As I say, now he was in the mist, but Age of Slash was able to end the phase there just before that. We have uh, best friend Mimikyu. Uh, my least favorite sport in this game. My, one of my favorite sports. I hate Mimikyu. Mimikyu is stupid. <laughs> then use it. No. <laughs> it's fun! Frog is more fun than Mimikyu. Frog sits in place. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Ooh! That, that was like the... One HP in a dream. That was the last second he could have he could have hit that king shield. Oh, he beat the four line. He end the phase though. Right, he's gonna use his. He's, yeah, that's a good idea to use it to gain more health. It with the last couple seconds. Ooh. Uh, yep. It was. It's still good. It's a raw burst change now. That was. That was still really good. On both of them. Well, yeah, using that burst was like basically would have just helped him. Yeah, it was just a help. Yeah, either way, it was a good call. He just needed to go a couple. Of yeah, away. he needed just needed a little bit, a couple more chances to get some shield pokes in. Breaks the counter with that iron head. Big advantage with the paper sack. Trying to get rainbow uh, stats. Oh, I love no, it. It's I, ultra flame. You're ultra flames. You're ultra flaming. <laughs> Nice. Also, I love how if your opponent is in the air and Lucari is doing his homing attack, even though one of the moves whiffs, it still combos. It, it still works. <laughs> it's it, so weird. It just works. It just works. It just works. Ah, that sidewire. That Carl Hobbs has been winning neutral over and over. And he over. has. He has. He All right, get some good chip damage. He's going to dot. Oh, I thought he was just going to drop over the Yeah, he's... Yeah, no, it's... Now he's basically just doing like basically less than normal damage if it wasn't in burst. Shield damage, yep. And gets the shield break, that Breaks game. the shield. Oh. Yes. Yep. That Very is nice. nice. Woo! Okay. Alright. But Haru has to remember this is only game three. Mm -hmm. Round three. Going in with the with that win there. <laughs> and then he but I, I respect the pop off. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Playing this super well. You can tell like his gameplay just balled around winning neutral, like not like super impressive, it's just like sitting back and just like going his buttons and seeing if, how much he can yeah. really work out for yeah, him. He's not he's not just hitting buttons. Yeah, it's like super like he's just calculating what they're gonna do. Like, exactly. And I think I think Lucario gives him more of that more more of a chance to do that than I, I would say. Yeah, it's uh, it gives him more the champ. And more options. 
is, is the whole yeah. thing. The higher mobility access projectiles. And, and he has to do it more. Mm -hmm. Machamp only has to do it like three times. While, mm -hmm. while nice, like you have to be really dedicated to Machamp to really get that stuff down. Yeah. Uh, okay, yep. Yep. Thing is, Rage Lucario Burst is a terrifying thing. <laughs> At least it's not <laughs> Jirachi Burst. Mm -hmm. uh, that He will shield that. I wasn't sure. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, is it gonna catch? Barely not catch that. And, and the four wide. Oh, and two. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. I. Yeah, that barely missed too. Yeah, I think it that was, burst barely missed. If it was just. Um, I think he, could he combo into that? Uh, if he two wide first. He two, oh, okay, okay. Oh. Because he gets. Would have been able to kill it. No, it would not kill. Um, yeah. Basically. Rule of thumb with like most combos into burst is that you usually aren't going to be doing too much more than a raw burst one. And Lucario's raw burst in raid probably about 250, and she was like around 300 or so. Yeah. So just uh, as a heads up for anybody watching this who hasn't played too much Pokémon, remember, or just keep it in mind, don't always think your burst is going to kill off a combo. <laughs> No. Unless you absolutely know it's gonna kill, yeah. don't expect your burst to kill. Yep. Don't don't stand up and walk away. Even if your opponent's at like twenty HP, Especially you just never know. Case of rage, because rage is super powerful. Yeah. Um. Lord knows we've all gone through that at least once. Especially on some cases, like if you have a or has a big trouble, uh, problem killing the burst because, like, half his damage comes at the beginning before animation. Yeah. And if they enter rage before um before the like, cinematic animation starts, then they they get, get the rage to fence yeah. Yeah. The animation, like, kind of resets that, doesn't it? Yeah, if, if you go into rage during the animation, you don't have to get the rage back. Yeah. If you go in before animation, you get the rage back. Yeah. So, yeah. Getting a lot of buffs off for itself. Ooh, that sideway hit. I thought something else hit. You, I could barely see that sideway. Goes in from the Mimikyu. Gets away from it. Is just trying to keep away from it. Yep. Good part. Try, and, try and bait it. Oh. He was able to outlast it. That's... Pun I don't know if he was close enough for a punish on that. Nice combo, though. Into the Emolga. I like it. Slows. He... Ha yeah. Age Slash cannot get rid of that speed buff without getting two more two debuffs himself. Debuffs are really hard to get rid of on Age Slash. Even though he can get a lot of buffs off. You have to, like... You have to get a grab in field phase and, and get something off in dual phase. All right, we do have Ultra Flames now. So every time he goes, every time he just like goes into per, every into sword form, from shield form, he will get those buffs. All right, yep. Ooh, tried to grab. Oh, into the two more damage. Yep. Only thing is that a four Y actually would have been would have finished it off a little sooner, but it still worked out. Because four Y. Four Y is the funny. It doesn't just do the funny, it is the funny. Define funny? 4Y. 4Y. H slash 4Y. Big homie So what's that? Is, isn't there, is there, there's like something unique to Lucario in like his jab in burst. It's like something unique to Lucario that he can like... His 5Y or his homie? His 5Y. Uh, yeah, basically he can literally float like in the middle of it. But there, I know there's like something else that he can do. Uh, no, it's not, not necessarily that. It's um, he can float after or sphere. Um, his five wide just gets a multi hit property. Mm. Um, and during the air, he has an air dash. In the air gets it. it still kind of combos into it, doesn't it? Kind of. So basically, some... he, he goes like five wide wide or sphere, then cancels it into JY, and then he can come off that. Yeah. Because he tries for the eight X to try and get something funky off. Still has the two debuffs on him though. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem for him. He's gonna have a hard time closing this out. Buffs are gone. Hits the flash cannon. Puts him in a bad state now. Yeah. Oh. Good stuff from paper. Good right. stuff from paper. One thing I want to say about paper though, uh, if you're gonna be using Mimikyu, you want to try and use it in the corner, not as an approach option. Nah, it's good for. It has a lot of versatility in both ways. You can tell. You can tell. Well, this is, um, our house had the neutral approach, so he wasn't. Like two hit by the approaching MQ, but it's still forcing into the corner. Well, still, it's like it's still just it's still really good as a corner option. Much better, in my opinion. Okay.